What's up everybody? Welcome to Tampa, Florida. We're gonna drive through the hoods at night. We're on Hillsboro now. We're eventually gonna get on Nebraska, which is one of the most uh, hood streets in Tampa. And we're gonna drive southbound first and then northbound and we'll give you guys a tour of the Tampa hoods at night. So I hope you guys are ready for this Tampa hoods at night. We'll see what it's like out here at night. Um, driving around the city, it looks like there's a lot of activity. Next signal. Cool. This one right here? Yeah. Right here, right? Nope. So Nebraska See, is... Uh, Nebraska is one of the most active streets in the entire city of... Uh, the entire city of Tampa. Nebraska is very active, so we'll see um, what it looks like. There's police right here at this corner. I can't see where we're going to turn, so we're going to have to wait. Here we go. There's a police car right there. Another police car. Alright, guys. Let's do this. Nebraska at night. I'm really excited to see... Tampa hoods at night. We come through here in the daytime all the time, so it's just uh, exciting to see what it's like at night. Um, Nebraska, the street, uh, it's infamous. If you're for, familiar with Orlando, this is the OBT of Orlando. Or the, I don't know, 79th Street of Miami, you know what I mean? This is it right here. So we'll head southbound through the city and see what it looks like on Nebraska. Um, I mean, we've done videos here in the daytime all the time, so we'll see what it's like at night. I'm excited. I don't think I've done, we've never done Tampa Hoods at night, have we? I don't think so. So this will be a whole new experience for our channel and our subscribers to see what Tampa's like at night on, you know, bad areas. We'll see pure excitement. Seminole Heights neighborhood here. Seminole Heights has some beautiful houses within the, within the uh, residential parts. Beautiful older houses, but the neighborhoods itself are hot. Lots of activity at night. Typical inner city look at night. The car behind us is definitely in a rush. So there's an opportunity for him to pass because I don't like being rushed. But I'm enjoying the scenic views of the hood. A mega night. supermarket. A mega supermarket. I've never seen that one. <laughs> meat market. Meat market. Meat market. I love Tampa, bro. It's just an interesting city. And at night, it's so active. It's weird. It's got a lot of activity at night. We're not quite there, guys. We'll get, you know, here we go. We'll take the slow and see if we can pass this since he's in a rush. Well, uh, we'll take, we're taking, uh, we'll get there eventually. Eventually, we'll start to see more hood stuff. They're gentrifying right here. This little area has some, some gentrification going on through it. But eventually, we'll, we'll enter more hood stuff and we'll be deeper into the hood tonight. We're just kind of scratching the surface at this point, getting into it. Tampa was uh, originally founded a lot of Cubans with a lot of political power here. You know how San Martin lives in Tampa? And there's a place in Tampa that belongs to Cuba. It's like a four foot, it's like a tiny little area. It's not big, but there's a, like a four foot section of Tampa mm -hmm. that technically belongs to Cuba. And Jose Marti, which is the liberator of Cuba, mm -hmm. the liberator of Cuba, Jose Marti, lived in Tampa. And there's actually a, a park named after him, I think, but a statue or something. And then there's like a four foot square section. Like, it's just like a little area. Like, it's not big, mm -hmm. but it's like symbolically and literally belongs to Cuba. Mm -hmm. There's a small section of Tampa that literally belongs to Cuba. I had no idea until somebody told me recently. Like it literally is the country of Cuba? Yeah, there's a small piece of Tampa that literally belongs to Cuba. It's kind of a weird thing. Mm -hmm. Because the liberator of uh the liberator of Cuba, Jose Martin, he uh he lived here in Tampa. And a lot of the, the independence of Cuba movement, when they were trying to get free from the Spaniards, a lot of that stuff happened here. There's been some influential like you know, all the cigar factories and stuff. All that stuff uh, 
took place here. A lot of powerful Cuban politicians and, and businessmen. Like Tampa's been historically tied to Cuba since like the 1800s. Like that's how far back uh, Tampa goes to Cuba as far as history. All right guys, here's Columbus. So we're starting to get deeper into the hood. You can see a hangout spot there pretty deep. Around here it gets a little bit more active. That, that spot's always pretty deep right there. Cuban fishermen used to fish in Tampa Bay? Yeah, all the way back to the 1700s. Cuban fishermen would come along the Gulf Coast of Florida, all up through here. And uh, this is where we saw the accident with the motorcycle, I think it was here, right? Remember that really nasty accident we saw? Was it right here? Oh, no, it was here. Yeah, Ymore City, downtown Tampa over there. A lot of homeless people hang around here. A little bit further down. There's that same again. There's a lot of homeless people hanging out around here. This is pretty much the end of Tampa right here. Uh, we want to swing down Florida. It goes parallel to this on the other side. Okay. I wish we had stopped at that gas station. I'm going to go back to that gas station. It seemed pretty packed. Pull up to that guy's station and get a good cover photo. That's on Tampa and that would be really cool too. I don't know if that's worth checking out. Looks pretty. That would be like a nice 4K video though. Mm -hmm. um, well, actually, no, 4K at night isn't all that great. Mm -hmm. Another cop right there. Just patrol. That's on Tampa right there, yo. Right there. That's pretty cool. That's neat right there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, but there's this one. What's your name? What's your name? Yes. See if this takes us to Florida. I don't think Florida. I think Florida goes parallel on the other side. We're trying to go basically the same drive we just did, but in the other direction. It's not much now, but eventually it's going to be. Yeah. Eventually it's going to be. We'll head back to the hood real quick, guys. Just, uh, they haven't even inhabited any of this stuff yet. They just built it and mm -hmm. just kind of sitting here waiting for the inhabitants. I'm well, probably waiting on the circuit. Certificate of Occupancy. You're only allowed to turn that way? Mm -hmm. well, that doesn't do anything for us. Mm -hmm. Need to go the other way. Oh, we just did that giant look for nothing. Not yeah, even incorporate. We gotta pull your trigger. It's weird how to get out there. Oh, that was all for nothing. Okay. Great. Let me see if I can pull your turn here. No, no, no. You're good. We're trying to go on. Yeah, we're trying to go on Florida. What do you want me to do? I can't figure it out. That's what I'm saying. Keep gotta, going. Just keep going. You'll hit Florida I, I got, eventually. I got, I got it. Oh, this is the only way. That no, sucks. this is good. Go, go that way. This will take us to Florida. My kid. We'll let Siri do her magic. And she's at the wheel. 
No, you'll get you'll you'll get there. You sure? Yeah. Because you're the one. I wanted to ride back up Nebraska, but Florida's pretty much a good drive back too. To see some hoods and stuff. How far are we going? Uh, about five or six blocks. Now we're in downtown Tampa for some reason. East Twigs. Dead for the song. Uh -huh. I think we end up in downtown for the drive. We Let's end see. up different places. That wasn't like what this trip was about. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be a bad thing to do in downtown Tampa. Percentage of people who are absolutely crazy you think are actually crazy. I think we're just pretending. Nope. Is this it or further ahead? This is Florida. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. Take us back to the city again. Cool. Downtown Tampa. What traffic? That is so loud and annoying. City right here. Hotel Floridian. Mm -hmm. Is that new or old? Limeridian. Floridian. Hotel Floridian up there. Mm -hmm. Way up there. Hotel Floridian. It looks older. Yeah. There's blood bugs there from the days of the Civil War. Forget about. Let me see where we're at. Forget about. Forget about new bed bugs, we got antique bed bugs. Polk County. Ah, I feel like I'm back in New York City. Tampa Hoods. It does look fancy. Yeah man, we should do like a like a Tampa downtown night. I think that could get a lot of views. Our downtowns at night usually do really well. Yeah. that Tampa sign right there. Turn right. So if we had a normal car, we could just pull a U turn anywhere. Yeah. But no, we're in this gigantic monstrosity. Mm -hmm. Let's just go back out to um. I want that gas station to hang out there. I think it's on Columbus and. Station in your spot. Is it one way, is it? <laughs> the last 
last thing we need right now is start driving down the wrong way on a one way down there. Mm -hmm. He's fine. Wrong way on a one way. Actually, we can take Columbus back that way. That would go some, some serious hoods, too. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. Columbus going back the other way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Columbus going back that way is pretty good, too. The station is what, one block south of this? I'm pretty sure it's a block south. Oh man, they cleared the spot. They're still hanging out over there in Nebraska. I need my cover photo. Why can't there be 50 people hanging out outside that gas station right now? That's what I need. I need 50 people hanging out. I need 50 people hanging out outside of a gas station. Come on, Tampa. Put on for me. Come on, Tampa. Put on for me. There's aren't that many people hanging out here today. Alright. It's gonna be hard to get some cover photo material like that. the roads and put up um, sidewalks and so that's nice. Avenida Cuba. Republica de Cuba. What does that mean? Avenue Republic of Cuba. It's interesting because in Camagüe, where I'm from, the main street's called Republica. Like, you know, in Camagüe, the main street in Camagüe, mm -hmm. it's called Republica. Republic is kind of like America's main street for Cuban towns. So, yeah. Republica. Right here. I don't know, just a little bit. I'll be right aware of my surroundings. It's just a nice place. Mm -hmm. Very nice. This place has like the most inner city vibes ever. Well, we're on 15th, we're gonna, I want to keep going straight. Mm -hmm. We can take 15th back, but this is neat. 22nd, maybe. Be a good street to take north. Very interesting inner city vibes, bro.
just go home tonight. Who cares about road trip when we can go home? All right, we'll keep growing the YouTube channel. Are they doing the gentrify? They're like building a lot of new. Oh, well, I see him. I see him. I see him. But he's gonna have to see me. I got cars behind me. I can't just slam on the brakes. People act crazy until it's time to really be crazy. 21st, 22nd is supposed to be really interesting. And it's a one way hand in that one. Oh, that looks deep right there. That's a good cover photo. It's going north. North, not to spring around the block. There's all types of stuff going on in there. People leaning and stuff. Hmm? That stuff is horrible. I don't know how you can do that to yourself. I believe they're building these giant houses in these types of neighborhoods. Like this is a bad area. It's a, it's a straight up hood and they're building these. These houses ain't cheap, you know? Them houses ain't cheap. Some like 17s, that's hilarious. That's not the stuff you'd be seeing in other countries. They're little knees on. The biggest thing they can put on it were 17s. Even though they're 17s, they still look big. We're on 15, 20, 20 second, right? Yes. How far is 20 second gold heading north on? We got somebody pulling up on a bike. Okay, green light, here we go. Let's get a butter. That makes me nervous. We have a bicycle for the road like that. No, 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 no. Take it up to Sly Avenue. Oh, it goes out far north, okay. Yeah. That's as far as you can go, and then you can get on Roller Park. Or just take Sly West. Whatever you want to do. Well, at this point, We'll go as far north as we can go, and then we'll get on, I guess we just gotta start heading towards O'Connor. I think I got one 
clip that was a good cover photo. I still haven't found like an incredible one for the Cadillac. Mm -hmm. I'm still looking for that like incredible cover photo, but mm -hmm. I think I might have got the cover photo I want. Because these hood videos, it comes down to one thing, cover photo. And your cover photo is like, wow, you know what I mean, where it like captivates you. Mm -hmm. Then you got a you got a solid video. What's that sign right there? Oh, Tampa. East Tampa. All right. One second. It all comes down to your cover photo. Does your cover photo captivate the audience? 50 people hanging out outside a convenience store is usually the best cover photo you're going to get. This is supposed to be really hot in here, this block right here. Surprised how much life Tampa has at night. A lot of cities just shut down at night. Not Tampa. They have some nightlife activity at night after the sun goes down. GPS for wherever the crap is. I'm okay with tickets, all right? Yeah. I'm okay with tickets. So play. I'll do it. GPS destination. Yeah, I got you. does not understand there is a better but I see where we're going so drives at night with a good. We'll have to find out. Alright guys, there it is. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. I will continue bringing you guys good videos. Can't wait to come back to Tampa. We have a lot of stuff we still need to cover in Tampa. Like, we've done a lot of Tampa videos, but there's still a whole lot more we need to do on Tampa. Tampa's so big. It would literally take a lifetime to do every neighborhood and every area of Tampa, but we're trying. We're getting to it. We're trying. So y'all make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and we'll keep bringing you all these good videos.